Alexander John Soyoy, better known as Morsley or MD, was a 16-year-old up-and-coming rapper out of Moston, Manchester. He'd been linked to the local M40 gang with the Manchester Evening News, claiming he had in fact been the leader. That's just merely speculation, though. On the 5th of November 2020, Alexander had sadly been stabbed to death after a confrontation with the rival Oldham and Rochdale-based gang released the danger, RTD for short, or the Paul Mole gang, PMD for short. Believe it or not, two trials have been underway in relation to this case. One which took place towards the end of last year saw life sentences being handed down, whilst one is currently ongoing as I'm reporting the story. Reporting restrictions had been handed down by a judge, but those have now been lifted as we head into the second trial, meaning there was no public coverage of that first trial. The second trial, ladies and gentlemen, sees not RTD members on trial for the murder of Alexander. No M40 members are on trial in relation to this wider case that we'll get into as the story proceeds. So let's take it back to that winter's afternoon in November, and we've got to head over to Manchester City Centre, where an incident went down in Piccadilly Gardens. At roughly 2.40pm on the 5th of November 2020, members of the public had contacted police after members of M40 had chased down and attacked the brother of 19-year-old Francesco Raji both RTD members. During the incident, he had been punched, kicked, stamped and stabbed in the leg. He would ultimately go on to survive the attack, but RTD were thirsty for blood after one of their own had been brutally injured. So other RTD members were called, they gathered and were ready to go hunting for a rival or rivals. Roughly four hours later at 6pm, 13 RTD members had gathered, armed with knives, machetes, rods and poles, ready for a revenge attack. They were that brazen, they decided to head into the heart of M40 territory, Moston Lane, Moston, Manchester. Somewhere along the line, M40 members must have got word about RTD being in their area, so they gathered eight members together, including Alexander. And at around 7pm, both gangs clashed at the corner of Moston Lane and Kenyon Lane. CCTV, which hasn't been released to the public, depicts RTD member Brent Tichipenda and Alexander attacking each other at the same time. Both were injured quite severely. But within the first couple of minutes, M40 realised they were on the losing end of the fight after being outnumbered, so they retreated but were closely pursued by RTD. M40 broke off into smaller groups. Alexander, slow at this point after being stabbed, had run into Birchinall Street where after being boxed in by a fence, was subjected to 15 knife blows to the body. Unfortunately, he would go on to be pronounced dead. Eight of the 13 members were eventually charged in relation to the murder investigation and went on a three-month trial at Manchester Crown Court. The only document I can find from that trial that isn't to do with the timeline would be in relation to drill lyrics found on one of the RTD members' phones. It read, same day that my bro got touched is the same day that your bro got murdered. Following the three-month trial, all eight were found guilty in relation to the case. All bar one that you see on your screen right now were convicted of murder. The other was convicted of manslaughter. In total, the gang were handed life sentences. The total amount of minimum years? 146 between them. But the story doesn't end here with the convictions of RTD members because like I said at the start of the video, there's actually a trial underway as I'm reporting this story right now, where it's been alleged that M40 gang members conspired to murder one or more RTD members in retaliation for the murder of Alexander. 10 M40 members currently stand on trial at Manchester Crown Court and it's been alleged by the prosecution that all 10 were plotting to avenge Alexander's death and violation of their territory, again by killing one or more of those they believed to have been responsible. The prosecution described Alexander as being the leader of the gang, so they'd been thirsty for revenge. Various gang members had sourced weapons whilst others were involved in identifying who should be attacked, obtaining information about their whereabouts and even encouraged others to do so. Evidence in the case? The prosecution said a number of messages on social media showed that the group were preparing to avenge Alexander's death. In one message read to the court, one of the M40 members told a member of RTD, bro, can't even lie to you, your boys killed my cousin and that can't slide. One M40 member also said to a female friend, quote, you know how I live, 
I never let a violation slide, but this is more than a violation, they took my little bro. On Boxing Day of 2020, that would be the 26th of December 2020 for anyone who doesn't know, it's been alleged by the prosecution that a stolen Ford car was used to go looking for rival gang members in Rochdale. Cell site evidence suggests that at least two of the M40 members had been present during this hunt. However, three men had been present that day and they travelled to Freehold Flats in Rochdale. Outside had been three people. The three men in the car are picked up on CCTV, jumping out, chasing the three who had been standing outside. The three potential victims had initially escaped unharmed. The alleged M40 members didn't want to stop there though, so they went looking around the area and spotted one of their would-be victims. The three in the car were said to have jumped out, armed with knives or machetes, and this one person by himself was struck a number of times. On CCTV, he appeared to be dead, but had in fact been playing dead so the gang members wouldn't hit him any further. The prosecution said he did the right thing because after they got back into their vehicle, they reversed back to check if he was dead. However, he quickly sprung to his feet and tried to run away, but the gang members used the car as a weapon and it's thought that he went flying into the middle of the road. It was then they fled the scene, leaving him for dead. The victim still managed to survive the attack though, walking away with a wound to his arm, and his arm was also broken. Various drill rap lyrics had also been wrote down from different M40 members. Police had collected their phones as evidence, and this is some of what they found. One said, trying to catch me a body, head, neck, chest, I'm doing it properly. One said, I'm trying to touch an olden prick, I'm trying to catch an olden body, anything seven, get put in a coffin. One said, I pray that I catch me an RTD, black blade, turn red when I touch 15. Bruce got got, YB got got, Shanks got got, and he ran into shops. Whilst one said, gangs been taking trips, don't talk on MD for the fame. On my life, I'll put you in the grave. If I get caught in this ride, I'm finished. We'll be doing up 20 to life. In RD, trying to catch me in M. So far, that is all the information that is currently out there regarding this trial. And because it is an ongoing trial, I'm going to hold back from giving my own commentary. But of course, when we do get updates coming from this second trial in relation to this bigger case... As always, I will keep you guys posted on this one. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.